back to our wetland classroom. In our first video, you learned how to tell if you were in a wetland by looking for hydric soils, looking for water at or near the surface of the ground, and by looking for the plants that are adapted to growing in wet conditions during the growing season. Today, in our second video, you'll learn what wetlands do for you, the three Ps. The three Ps are a simple way to remember the main ways that wetlands help us. They purify our water, provide food and habitat for wildlife, and protect us from storms and floods. Water carries many substances. Some of them occur naturally in the environment. Others, such as fertilizers, pesticides, heavy metals, and oil, come from runoff. Wetlands remove these pollutants from the water, giving us our first P, purify. Smaller pollutants are removed from the water by wetland plants as they draw water into their roots. The plant will then hold on to these pollutants in their stalk, removing them from the water column, improving water quality. Excess sediments also reduce water quality. Small changes in elevation allow water to pool, giving time for sediments to settle and be removed from the water column. Wetland plants also assist in removing excess sediments when they trap them in their roots and stems. Here I have a board with artificial turf attached to one side and bare board on the other. The turf represents wetland plants. The bare board represents bare ground or hard surfaces. And here I have some water with suspended materials in them. What do you think will happen when I pour the water over the board? As you can see, the side with the turf slowed the water and prevented the sediment from running further down the board. Just the same way as wetland plants prevent sediments from running further into our streams and rivers. The bare board did not trap the sediments. Because this water has been purified naturally, it requires less man-made treatment before it can safely be used, saving water and money for your community and you. Now let's check in with Matt to learn more about our second P, provide. All wetlands provide a habitat for plants and animals, and today we're visiting one of Delaware's tidal wetlands along its coastline. These habitats are important for animals such as her heron, cra blue crabs, and fish, which in turn provide a valuable resource to Delaware's economy. That brings us to our second P, provide. Earlier today we brought a seinet out into this creek behind me to see what animals call this wetland home. As you can see, we found many different species, all within this small wetland area. Blue crabs spend most of their lives in estuaries before heading out to deeper waters to hibernate. Wetlands and estuaries provide a perfect habitat for blue crabs. We further give them a place to hide from predators as well as nearly endless supply of food. As you can see, we also found some food sources in the marsh. These grass shrimp provide a valuable resource for many different animals, including blue crabs we just saw earlier. Fish also spend time in these estuaries. Juvenile fish live here to protect themselves from predators before heading out into deeper waters as adults. These fish provide a valuable resource for people all around the world, including Delaware. In Delaware alone, fish, the fishing industry provides $9 million to the local economy. Not only do animals live in these waterways within these wetlands, but also in the vegetation itself. Birds oftentimes nest in these wetlands, as well as stop over here during their long distance migrations for food and rest. Without these wetlands, birds would not be able to sustain their long distance migrations. Delaware has become world renowned for its great birding locations, bringing them $130 million to the state's local economy each year. The resources provided by these wetlands helps Delaware thrive. Now let's hear about our third and final P, protect. Delaware is affected by hurricanes and nor'easters every year that are accompanied by heavy rains and flooding. The third P, protect, is the protection that wetlands provide us by absorbing floodwaters and diminishing storm surges. As excess water pours into the wetland, the wetland acts as a sponge absorbing and storing the water. This prevents our streets from flooding and also protects our homes and businesses. After the storm has passed, the water is slowly released from the wetland recharging our water sources. Last fall, the Mid-Atlantic region was hit hard by Hurricane Sandy. Areas where coastal wetlands had been removed fared much worse than those that had coastal wetlands. The coastal wetlands protected and minimized the storm surge in these areas. It was reported that storm surges were reduced from 9 feet to 5 feet in areas that had coastal wetlands. This reduction in storm surge reduced the monetary cost to our communities protecting not only our safety, but also our homes and businesses, as well as our wallets. Thanks for joining us today to learn how wetlands work for us in Delaware. And if you ever forget, just remember, 
the three P's, purify, provide, and protect. Join us next time to learn about the wildlife that call these places home. So long.